Hanging doors can be a little bit tricky, but with the right advice and a few tips, you can get a professional finish just like this. There are two different types of doors, flat doors and panel doors, and there's a different procedure for painting both. And then you've got oil-based enamel, which is preferred by painters, and water-based enamel, which DIYers love to use. Before we start painting, we need to prep our brushes and rollers. And because we're starting with an oil-based enamel, we need to stand our brush in an inch of terps for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now the roller we're using is seamless foam, and seamless foam doesn't lose lint or fluff. And because it's an absorbent fabric, there's no need to moisten the roller. Before you get stuck into the door, give it a good sand down and dust off, and apply an undercoat, even on new, pre-primed or old painted doors. I'm starting off painting a flat door using oil-based enamel. Step one is to do the edges of the door, and for that, I'm using a quality Monarch Oval Cutter 63mm brush. Beautiful quality filament, picks up a little bit of paint and gives you that precision and control you're after, and helps you get a lovely, smooth finish. Cut in along the bottom of the door too, so that the roller doesn't have to go anywhere near the floor and get dirt or grit on it. Then roll out your door, and to get the perfect finish, tip it off with a brush using long strokes from the top to the bottom. So now we're going to use water-based paint, so the preparation for our brush and roller is slightly different. Simply take your brush out of the pack and stand it in an inch of water for 10 to 15 minutes. While that's happening, take your roller out, turn on the tap, and run your hand around the roller for a minute or two. Then turn the tap off, squeeze out the excess moisture, and then there's one more step to go. I'm painting a flat door, but this time I'm using water-based enamel, and the procedure is slightly different. I'm using a 50mm Monarch Advanced Sash Cutter to do the edges and along the bottom of the door, and I'm using a smaller brush because I'm not going to tip it off after I've rolled. I'm using a Monarch Microfiber 4mm nap roller to apply the water-based enamel. And the trick here is to start at the bottom of the door and work your way up because this type of paint dries quickly so if there's any imperfections due to quick drying they won't be at eye level. To get a smooth finish with water-based enamel don't tip it off with a brush. Instead use the same roller with no more paint on it. Then start in the bottom corner and roll lightly all the way from top to bottom and work your way across a roller width at a time. I'm painting a panel door now using water-based enamel, and for that the technique is slightly different. I'm using a Monarch 50mm Walls Doors Trims brush to cut in the mouldings of the door. And for the little panels, I'm using a Monarch Microfiber 4mm Nap Mini Roller, perfect for small areas. Now I've already prepped my brush and roller, so let's get started. Start by cutting in each section around the edge with a Walls Doors and Trims brush, and roll out the flat surface with your mini roller. Then tip off the rolled area to get a smooth professional finish. You can tackle the remaining small sections one by one with your quality brush and mini roller. So regardless of the style of door or the type of paint you're using, you will need to do a second coat. But I think I've shown you how you can achieve a beautiful finish with a couple of tips and using the right brush and roller. 